Hi church, my name's Sarah and I'm the children's pastor here at Audacious Church. Um, real glad you've chosen to join us today in our month of prayer. And today we're going to be praying for our audacious kids. So for the little bundles of joy, of awesomeness that have literally just been born all the way up to our incredible year six children. And the thought I want to explore today is what are you known for? And my confession is I love a good branding or a good font. And when you find a good one, I personally find it pretty uh, pleasing to my eye and it does actually bring me a little bit of joy. And uh, I'm not even a designer, so can you imagine if I was, how epic I would be? Joke. Uh, we all know what it means after a long journey and you're hungry and out in the distance you see the golden arches without even a sign telling you McDonald's is coming up. You see the golden arches that speaks loud from the distance and you know food is on its way. Or maybe for you, seeing the Disney symbol, uh, you know that just around the corner there's something fun or something magical because that's what Disney produces. Or maybe you're like a coffee fan and Starbucks is one of your favourites. And uh, wherever you are in the world, seeing the Starbucks logo brings you joy because you know you're going to get a coffee fix and coffee is near. These major organisations and many more are known for producing something great. So for us, audacious kids, adults, parents, mums, dads, grandparents, brothers, sisters, aunts and uncles, what are you known for? Uh, you may have read this before, but I'll just read Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23. The Bible says this, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now, after what has been two years of turmoil, we don't know the long-term effects of what it's going to have had on our generation. I'm sure there will be some negative things, but I am absolutely believing for such a high percentage of incredible things too. However, we do know a saviour who loves us and can produce something unchangeable and incredible in each one of us as he is in our lives. And that's what I want to pray for us today. What are you known for? What are our kids known for? So today, let us pray that our children would have a new and fresh passion to grow in their relationship with Jesus so that they are known by his fruit. As they draw close to him, that they would be uh, that they would be known for the fruit that the Holy Spirit produces in our lives, and for any challenges that they're facing, that they've been known for pressing into rela their relationship with God, and that they would be a generation marked for seeing the miraculous, winning their friends and family to Jesus, and loving others in such an extraordinary. Uh, extraordinary way. That is my prayer for you. That is our prayer for our kids today. What are we known for? Have an incredible day, church. Love you.